chlamydia. Hi, I'm Leah, and I have chlamydia. And, and we're, we're very pregnant. pregnant. And we have a few questions for you today so that we can learn about chlamydia in pregnancy. So let's start from the beginning. What is the clam? What causes it? Well, I need to look into your sexual history and ask if you have partaken in unprotected sex, have recently changed sexual partners, or have had more than one sexual partner in the last three months. Um, yes, yes to, to all, all of, of the above. above. Why? It's just that women aged between 16 to 29 years are at higher risk of contracting chlamydia, which is the most common sexually transmitted infection in Australia, particularly if they are engaging in unprotected sex with different people. In Australia, cases of chlamydia infection have significantly increased from 47.4 per 100,000 population in 1997 to 203 per 100,000 population in 2005. Despite these statistics, the majority of those infected with chlamydia remain asymptomatic and therefore undetected. As a result, it's difficult to determine both the true incidence and prevalence of chlamydia in Australia as well as in pregnancy. Nevertheless, studies have shown a higher rate of chlamydia in young pregnant women in New South Wales. One study focusing on pregnant women aged 20 years or younger found that of the 212 women tested, 29 were positive. That's 13.7% to having genital chlamydia. Is there any other way I could have contracted it? I mean, like, sitting on the public toilet? No. Chlamydia is spread through unprotected vaginal, oral, or anal sex with an infected person. What causes it is a bacterium called chlamydia trachomatis. It can be passed from an infected mother to her baby during vaginal delivery. So how would we know if we were infected? Because I feel totally normal. Yeah, so do I. Bit of morning sickness here and there, yeah. but I keep vomiting. Ew. I get an itchy belly. Itchy but that's about belly. it. Yeah. We'll do an initial non invasive test which involves collecting a sample of urine after you haven't passed urine for one hour and then request a chlamydia polymerase chain reaction test. Then, if the results are suspicious, we'll do a vaginal, rectal, or oral swab for confirmation which identifies the presence of chlamydia trachomatis. Both of these are sent to a laboratory for testing, and if you test positive for chlamydia, then we can proceed with treatment. I don't understand. Wouldn't I know if I had chlamydia? Because I feel fine. Yes, yeah, I really feel fine. fine. Yeah. Not necessarily. Chlamydia is considered a silent disease. To give you an idea, over 80% of people infected don't experience any signs or symptoms at all. Wow. So... Wow. If we were to experience any symptoms, what would they be? Signs and symptoms generally occur one to three weeks after exposure. Pregnant women may experience pain or a burning sensation when passing urine, abnormal vaginal discharge, pain or bleeding during or after sexual intercourse, pain or cramps in the lower abdomen, abnormal bleeding or spotting, fever, or anal pain or discharge. Oh, they don't sound very pleasant, do they? No. Not at all, and it's also important to determine whether you have chlamydia early in your pregnancy so it can be treated promptly as it can affect you as well as be passed on to your baby during vaginal delivery if not treated, affecting your baby too. So how will it affect me and me? It's important for you to be aware of what it means to have chlamydia in pregnancy because it does affect you and your baby if left untreated. First and foremost, chlamydia is the leading cause of pelvic inflammatory disease. This refers to the infection of the cervix, spreading to the uterus, fallopian tubes and ovaries, which causes lower abdominal pain and can result in tissue scarring. Up to 40% of women infected without receiving treatment will develop PID. Chlamydia also can lead to infertility. Chlamydia accounts for up to 50% of ectopic pregnancies, which is a pregnancy outside the womb, for example, in the fallopian tube, and can cause death due to hemorrhage. Chlamydia is also associated with cervicitis, spontaneous abortion, amnionitis, chronic pelvic pain and infection, preterm rupture of membranes, preterm labour, fever during labour, low birth weight, stillbirth, neonatal death and the development of late onset endometriosis after birth. OMG! So what about our babies? Mm. The chlamydial immunoglobulin G, an antibody found in our body fluid that protects us from bacterial and viral infections, 
doesn't actually protect the baby from infection. Up to 44% of newborns born to infected mothers develop chlamydial conjunctivitis, which presents five to 14 days after birth as watery discharge of one or both eyes. If left untreated, conjunctival scarring, ophthalmia neonatorium or blindness can occur. Chlamydial pneumonitis occurs in 20% of newborns born to infected mothers four to 12 weeks after birth and presents as a persistent dry cough. Chlamydia in infancy can also lead to otitis media, bronchiolitis, pharyngitis and gastroenteritis. We have come to a mutual understanding, mutual understanding. that we want to do the diagnostic test. Swap me. How is it treated? With a single dose of an antibiotic called azithromycin, it's a one gram tablet taken orally. Is it safe to take while we're pregnant? Yes, azithromycin is the recommended antibiotic for women to take to treat chlamydia in pregnancy. Tetracycline is an antibiotic also used to treat chlamydia, however, it is unsafe and not recommended for use during pregnancy as it can affect fetal teeth and bone growth. Good, because I don't want to put my baby at any more unnecessary risk. Is there anything we're not allowed to do after the antibiotic? I mean, sexually? Oh my god, Lou! You were thinking it! I know, but you said it! I know, I know. <laughs> well, after treatment, I advise you abstain from sex for seven days to prevent reinfection. After that, you can have sex, but have your partner wear condoms as these are effective in protecting you from getting chlamydia again. And all your current sexual partners will need treatment, and any sexual partners you've had in the last six months will require contact tracing so they can be tested and treated if necessary. Because you've tested positive for chlamydia, you also need to be retested in three months to ensure no reinfection has occurred, especially in your last trimester before delivery. Who would have thought chlamydia could cause so many problems in pregnancy? I know, right? Who? So, so the, the moral, moral of, of the story, story is... At your age, you're going to be having a lot of urges. You're going to want to take off your clothes and touch each other. But if you do touch each other, you will get chlamydia and die. I'm so mad at you right now. You gave me chlamydia. chlamydia. I should have shut my mouth. So I didn't get the nasty bacteria. That you. I didn't find any symptoms of an STI. You're my partner. I thought you'd be clean. But a month later, when I cleaned it up, they found I had chlamydia and was not up. It's like my world crashed down. And the symptoms of it. Not the only thing you must do to money. 
Intrapartum fever, the list goes on and on. 